Shots fired. Dispatch, shots fired. Shots fired. Oh, damn! She just did a tray flip with her body. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to LSPDFR. Jumping in here with the Los Santos Police Department using the... Oh, I'm not sure if I've used this with you guys yet, but we're using these. I think I have. I'm not entirely sure. Your car is a piece of shit, by the way. I've had... I've heard horns literally the past 15 minutes I've been sitting in the game, and it's honestly making me want to start banging my head against the wall till I'm painting the walls in red at this point. So, let me just go ahead and show you some new stuff. We've got a EUP retexture in, so that's kind of cool. Basically, an EUP retexture is... An EUP retexture is something that you, like, basically put in over what is originally there on the mod. So it's very simple. I didn't even know it. I knew it existed, but I thought I was like, ah, oh, shit, that's too much work for me. Um, and then I looked at it, it took four and a half seconds. So, we have it now. As you can see, we have a little more retextures in as well, too. We have the over-the-shoulder microphone, which looks 20 times better. Uh, it doesn't really go to anything on the belt, I've noticed, but then again, who really gives a shit? It's not like that that big of a deal. Uh, it's got the body camera as well, too. We've got ourselves glasses, and we've got the, um, the collar rank. So instead of the sergeant and stuff like that, we're, we're rocking the highest possible um, rank that you can have due to the stars on the collar. So that's kind of cool. So I've kind of figured out how to how to change stuff around. I didn't even know that there was some parts that existed um, in the wardrobe thing. Like, I'll go ahead and show you this. So, like, if you open up this and you go... For instance, I can change... So, like, if we're about to do some, like, uh, detailed work, I can throw on the gloves really quick. I have the no gloves. I can quickly go to LSPD Task Force, which I actually changed that around from the original one that they had. And then, of course, I got my short sleeve with no helmet. Remember I told you guys, I was like, that's kind of a bummer that they don't have a short sleeve for this guy. Or, I'm sorry, a no helmet for this guy. And now we got it, so that's kind of cool. And I got a bicycle in, so we're about to do a uh, Vespucci patrol and stuff like that. It's going to be really cool, LSPDFR. Um, so let's go ahead and do no gloves, just regular outfit. I don't think the ma uh, pants match as well as they could, I guess you could say. Uh, but at this point, it's really not that big of a deal. Wow, everyone's car sucks. Are you the same person that it's already went around? That could be the case. I think they're going in circles. Uh, we're going to be rocking the 2016 Dodge Charger. Um, the one I showed you last time is technically the same texture, but I'm starting to go through and really take care of what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So we took off the freeway and we put police just like the rest of the textures have um, on this pack. And even for the other Charger, I took off the freeway enforcement on that one. So that way we don't have to use a car in the city and possibly have it be freeway enforcement. That's kind of weird. So again, these are the lights. I think we've used a vehicle. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. It's it's hard to remember with how many videos I am ahead right now. Go ahead. You're good. Just go. Drive in your lane while you're at it, too. Uh, so we're going to be working the Los Santos area. We're going to be using daytime because... Oh, I, had, I didn't show you everything yet. Um, we'll go ahead and pull over really quick. We're going to be working daytime so that way we can really see the microphone and axon body cam and all that. And you're wondering, but, Polecat, why do you have the axon body cam and not have an actual axon body cam mod? Well, you spoke too soon. So when we go in first person, it's going to make the beep noise for the axon, and then uh, it throws up the actual dash cam. So when we pull our weapon, we'll have like pretty much like a dash cam, I'm sorry, like a body cam view of uh, what's going on, which is kind of cool. I just realized we're gonna need a flashlight on that guy. There we go. Thank you. So yeah, and it'll beep every 20 seconds. You can configure all that stuff. It's all on the, you know, LSPDFR website. Really cool. Um, I have I dropped it down to about 20 seconds. That way, whenever we do use it, at least it happens relatively often, I guess you could say, the beep at least. Um, but nonetheless, we'll get this started. See exactly what we can get into here. We got a suspicious parked vehicle in Rockford Hills. 911 caller saw a suspicious parked vehicle as a yellow dominator. That guy totally ran a red light. I decided to proceed and follow him and do the same exact thing, uh, which I technically could pull him over for, but at this point, we've got a uh, suspicious parked vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and head out to that. Dispatch, we're going to be en route to a suspicious vehicle. Actually, you know what I could do? There was something I wanted to... Give me one second. So there's something I wanted to do so that way it added a little more realism to the episode. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of people use the dispatcher... Voicle... Vo 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 dispatch. <laughs> what the 
fudge. Vocal dispatch, that's what I meant to say. Um, but I don't really prefer that because, um, to me, she does, she acts like I don't speak English at all, you know what I mean? Which is kind of frustrating. Uh, so I'll say something and she just, I'll be like, yeah, one king 20 will be, um, you know, I need a tow truck. She's like, copy, one king 20, three units responding code three. And it's like, what? No. So I took all that out because it wasn't, it wasn't worth it at the end of the day. So what we'll do is uh, when we respond to something, I'll use the team speak, obviously, because I'm in team speak with uh, DOJ. And we have the mod in there that makes that sound at any time I want. So basically I can have that and it gives the guys a little spice of DOJ in these, you know what I mean? So it keeps it a little bit universal like we're patrolling and I'm gonna beat your ass. What are you doing? Holy shiznit. Pink 20, we're gonna be on scene of that uh, call attempt to look at. Okay, so that way we can uh, keep it a little more precise. We don't have to worry about anything. Obviously, we'll still have to use our menus and stuff like that. One thing when uh, I want to show you guys is... Or not I want to show you, but when I used to play before... It's a yellow dominator, that's what we got to keep our eyes out for. Whenever shit used to go down, I used to click the back button. And uh, I could never do anything because the back, like, back up button would actually pop up, which is the backup through LSPDFR. I've disabled that, so if I want to open it... I click B. It's very simple, much better, um, no, no stuff. I can actually look behind me, which is nice. I'm a fan of being able to look behind me. Okay, we're looking for a yellow dominator. Okay, that's going to be the vehicle right there. Uh, I just saw the back end of the vehicle sticking out. It's going to be a yellow dominator. Looks to be chilling inside the alleyway right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can get through there. Or get in there through here. Which I think we're going to be able to. It's going to be right at the end of this. Hello, I think he's probably going to be hanging out and uh, probably sleeping. I see someone moving, but I'm not sure what they're doing. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, they're drinking in the car. Hey! Hey! How you doing? What you doing? King 20, we've located the, uh, individual. What are you doing over here? I'm gonna need your, uh, identification, please. Also, I, I would like you to talk back. We saw them drinking, so. No, sir, just a soda. Okay, well, I don't think that's the case, ma'am. Back up! Hey! Dispatch, I got one taken off. We're gonna take the vehicle. King 20, we got one taken off. We're taking the vehicle. All right, we're gonna try to catch up to him right now. I think 20 is to be Del Power Boulevard. See if we can stop him really quick. They're gonna be, oh, are you gonna steal a car? Hands up, hands up. She just tried to steal a car. I think 20, subject just tried to steal a vehicle on Del Perro Boulevard. Stop your vehicle. Hey, stop trying to steal shit. I'm right here, hey. Got her, got her. King 20, taser deployed. Get back in your car. Okay, he's just gonna take off, I don't blame him. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground, you're gonna get tasered again. King 20, second taser deployed. Okay, I'm not sure if she's gonna cooperate or what exactly is going on. Okay. So, uh, I must have turned off in, in my, uh, desperate attempt to fix my game of controller bindings. I must have turned off the controller to arrest the subjects, uh, which is interesting. So, we're gonna have to flick that back on. It's no big deal. I still got the keyboard, thankfully. Let me turn this off. That is not what I wanted. Hey, 20, we got 110.15. It's gonna be code 4 here. All right, let's get the subject uh, searched, make sure there's nothing on uh, her or persons or vehicle or anything like that. I should probably shut down traffic. You stop. Just stop. Everyone stop, please. I got a police investigation right now. Again, we're making sure there's no extra weapons or anything. She took off from a DUI call. We got a clown mask and a pack of cigarettes. All right, ma'am, we're going to uh, call a prisoner transport for you, so just sit tight right here. Assistance needed in... Be another Blackford charger. Hill. 
So thankfully we were able to get them stopped. Um, you know, she tried two vehicles to uh, carjack. She attempted a parked vehicle, which I believe is on the other side of this truck right there, that Weasel News. And then uh, this person stopped because of the police activity. And um, that's pretty much the second vehicle she tried to rob. Why is it not bringing that damn car in here? Just go. If you're going to keep honking, just, just go then, all right? All right, our PT is showing up. Well, that's two different units right there. What is going on? They could have just sent the one that was already here to actually get them in the first place. All right, let's go ahead and get the vehicle searched. You're going with that officer over there. All right, we got several cans of spray paint, a silencer. That's not good. What is a silencer for? Then it can wait. Hold on. That's the guy. That's the other guy's vehicle. That's not good. Okay, so he had a silencer on him. Most likely he has a weapon. He has a weapon. That's not good at all. That is so not good. All right, let's go ahead and get a tow truck in here. <laughs> guess we took a silencer off the street, which I guess is honestly pretty good. Because that's a pretty bad thing to have on the streets. Hey, chick with the pink hair. Either relax or go dye your hair somewhere, okay? Relax. Got a police investigation here. All right, tow truck's on scene. We got that secondary. I'm going to go ahead and take off since we're facing the wrong way in traffic anyways. I think 20, we're going to be 10-8 available. I think we got a biker with no helmet up here around the corner. We're going to go ahead and uh, just double check and verify. We are in the city, so obviously having a helmet in the city is probably the most paramount thing. And that guy just ran that red light, so we're going to go ahead and pull him over anyways. So I guess that uh, freeway enforcement would have worked on this car after all. Let's go ahead and get him before he gets on the highway. He might actually... He actually might have a helmet on, but he ran a red light, so... Mm, we gotta get him still. Alright, let's go ahead and get this on the radio. Pink 20, can anybody Interstate 2 on a 1011? Motorbike, Whiskey Mike, Occupy Times 1. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's going on with this guy. I don't think it's a helmet. I think it's one of those hats that kind of sit a little, you know, like the dress-up hats, I guess you could say. I don't know what they're called. How you doing, sir? Hey, get your identification, please. Stop you for the red light violation or no helmet. All right, Deshaun. Go ahead and sit tight for me, all right? All right we're going to run Deshaun Smith in the system. Make sure he has no wands, warrants, anything like that. Valid, none, and no. Age 24. Valid, none, no. Valid, none. Alright, he's looking pretty clean, so why he decided to run a... <laughs> uh, a thing there that really doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I could have sworn I could have... Oh yeah, if we go here... I'm not trying to crash the game, so we're just going to do this. Not trying to fuck with everything. Does that person change up there? I always feel like they don't wear the same thing. Sometimes they're wearing different things, but that might just be me. Uh, let's go ahead and get him out of here with the violation for the helmet and the red light violation. All right, sir. Just going to get you out of here today with a few things. It's going to be a uh, two-part citation. That's going to be for the red light and no helmet, but I'm not sure if that's... Oh, no helmet. Okay, going to be fairly simple today, all right? Like I said, no helmet and a red light violation. Make sure you stop for those on a red right-hand turn uh, because without that, you're obviously going to get pulled over. And a helmet, you need to slap that on if you're going to be out in the city because uh, stuff gets dangerous, all right? All right, sir, drive safe. Oh, my God. As I say that, that <laughs> that happens. <laughs> like, all right, sir, drive safe. Uh, have a better day. Pink 20, traffic stops to be 10 -8. I think we got someone on a bike here uh, that, again, doesn't have a helmet on, and they were in the right-hand turn lane and decided to get over into the left straight lane uh, without doing it before they got into the solid white lines. So we're going to go ahead and attempt to get through some of this traffic here. And get up on the individual. 
I don't think he has a helmet. He looks like he's going to have a beanie on, so we're going to light him up. We didn't even really get from that other location before we got this guy, but if people are going to act the way they're going to act, we got to light him up. King 20 dispatch, traffic stop, Interstate 2, a quality way. It's going to be on a motorbike. Motorbike, occupy times one. What is he doing? Holy shit, he's driving so fucking slow. He is still failure to yield at this time. Scratched my frickin' car because of his bike. Holy shit, I'm gonna cancel and then restart. Dude, you need to pull over right now. Oh my god. He almost lost it right there. Now he's gonna be stuck on the other side of that. Not even gonna bother. We're just gonna let him go. Hey, by the way, you're an idiot. There you go. We'll just let him have his own. How did the, how did the, how did the, who did the, how did the, how? How did he get on the other side of that wall? If he, if he, if he gonna do that, I'm gonna just pull him over. This Houdini guy. What the hell? You're not getting away. I'm lighting it up. Hitting the lights. Come on. Go. We got him. We got him. Hopefully he pulls over just through this intersection here. I want to get this guy because of uh, the way he was driving past us. That's why we got him in the fuck you doing, bro? Oh, this guy's on crack. This guy's on crack. Hey, we got him stopped. I mean, hell. I'll take it. King 20 final stops and be Bay City Incline Interstate 2. You better not move that bike. You're gonna get hurt. All right, man, can I get your identification? Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers, there it is. Yeah, I wish you were as cool as Marshall Mathers. I wouldn't want to beat you up as bad, so uh, sit tight, I'll be right back. All right, we got this guy's uh, identification. Interesting, he has the same name as uh, Eminem, which is kind of interesting. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead and get... Uh, this guy ran in our system here. Marshall Mathers, valid license, no wanted status, has a gun permit. All right. Vehicle status, insurance, none. Of course, Marshall Mathers would not have no insurance. Right and dirty. Uh, registration status, valid, stolen, no. Valid license, wanted status, no. So insurance uh, status, he's going to get a ticket. I believe in the state of San Andreas, that is a uh, tow of the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and clarify here in a second all right so we got some issues um unfortunately you're having uh you have no insurance on the vehicle i'm sure you probably knew that even before i attempted to pull you over all the way back there i'm gonna go ahead and see what we are working with today so it's gonna be an invalid uh insurance because you don't have insurance i don't think you can be on the uh the roadway yeah unfortunately we're gonna be taking you i don't think you had that helmet on the whole time uh, but with that type of uh, insurance, you're not going to really need the helmet anymore anyway. So why is that chick walking down the center of the freeway? Oh, that is the worst in real life and in this game. That is the worst place to be walking. Oh, and she's almost hit by the only cop in the intersection. What an interesting turn of events right there, which actually brought her to back to the sidewalk. Actually, that worked. All right, sir. Have a better day. We're going to get his car or uh, vehicle towed. I want to stop that female for walking in the roadway like that. I want to see if she's okay or what's going on. Pink 20, I'm going to need a tow truck to base it in. Stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. I want to see what that female's up to. She almost just got hit by multiple cars. She's probably gone, honestly. I mean, she was literally right here. We're just gonna go ahead and park up, walk around. Pink 20, I'm gonna be 10-8 off Interstate 2, code 6 in the area of uh, Best Hoochie Beach. There's a whiskey mic, uh, whiskey foxtrot, but by the time I turn around, she probably got removed out of the uh, game cache. 
It's like she was literally there one second and then gone the next. Perfect indication for the next patrol, though, when we do our uh, bike police. Because we do have our uh, a police bike in there under the scorcher. It's kind of like, it's not like it has police lights or anything. Uh, the one that was made with police lights wasn't made to the best quality that I would have preferred. So I just picked the one without it. Uh, still works perfect. Hopefully someone will make it after watching the video and be like, yeah, we need one. Um, but nonetheless, we still got one. But we're in the charger today. So we tried to look for that female, but I don't think she's going to be in this area. So we'll just go ahead and take off. Pick 20, we 10 off my code 6. Oh, we got an ANPR hit coming in for an armored car robbery. We'll be right around the corner here, so we're going to see if we can locate these guys. Actually, they're traveling on the freeway. We're just going to turn around here, that way we can hop left on the freeway, since that's the closest that these guys are at. If not, we'd be have to do some jank stuff to the city, and I'm not really trying to do that. King 20 in route to the uh, wanted subject. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with here. It's going to be eastbound interstates. Interstates. There it is. Interstate 2. Attempting to catch up with a subject that's wanted for a armored car robbery that took place earlier. From the looks of it, they're about a mile away and they're still heading down the freeway. I'm not entirely sure. We haven't been able to really uh, activate this as a pursuit or anything. And coming up through Interstate 2, I believe it's going to try to keep me on this freeway. Even though it's, it looks like it wants me to go a little off to the right, but I'm going to stick with my judgment here and stay off to the left. Not too far away, still about... Uh, a little less than a mile out from the individual. They must be cooking, though. If, if I'm really not gaining that much on them and I'm going this fast, they really must be going fast, too. Okay, we're going to be coming in here in a second. Don't think we're going to be taking any exits. Looks like it's going to be on the uh, bottom level. Okay, still continuing westbound, I'm sorry, southbound, U.S. Route 20. Should be coming up on the individual right now. Let's get it real. I feel like we're actually running through uh, L.A. traffic. All right, killing the siren. We're going to be up with the vehicle. Let's see if we can locate. It's going to be a Chino. Guarantee it's going to be occupied times two right here. Okay, we got him. I got eyes on the two-door blue Chino occupied times two. We're going to take them down as soon as we get a green light here. How the hell are you balancing like that? I assume here in a second we'll get a green light. I'm going to go ahead and flick on some backlights, which obviously doesn't activate any of the front ones. So we're good on that. Give us a green, give us a green. We got a bad guy we got to take down. Which, guaranteed, uh, this call usually gets a little crazy, so there most likely is going to be some type of shootout. All right, let's light him up. We'll get a final. Whoa, I didn't like that. No, sir. Hey, back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Yeah, you. Get on the ground! Get on the ground right now! LSD, you hear me? Don't you move. I don't know what you guys were gonna do! Shots fired! Shots fired! Dispatch, shots fired! Shots fired! Oh, damn! She just did a tray flip with her body! Holy shit, it's times two! It's times two! Oh, two, two hit. I need backup. I need backup started this way. Back up. Drop the knife. King 20's got two. He's got running at me with the knife. He's down. He's down. He's down. King 20, we got one down. One down. It's going to be US Route 20 southbound. One at gunpoint. Holy crap. They take bullets, dude. And the way... They <laughs> 
I'm thinking back at the way she flipped is just too good right now, dude. That was solid. You got back up, moving up. I gotta clear that knife. Stay frosty, boys. What the hell was that? He's down. Clearing knife. Knife clear. Clearing second body. Yep, she disappeared. All right, we're gonna stick with this first one then. Let's get uh, let's get this lane locked down. We got a shooting subject. Um, we got a vehicle. I, how did all their shit disappear? It never disappears. I'm gonna just go ahead and take the vehicle down where the body's at. I guess that's gonna be the main individual right here. There's uh, pretty much looks to be blood everywhere at this point. So it's gonna be a major cleanup effort. Oh, bumpers hanging off. Most likely shot my own car. I don't think anyone hit my vehicle, so not really sure. Let's go ahead and search the body, make sure there's nothing on it. We'll get medical in route to this location. Hey, relax, you ain't going nowhere. Area shut down. Okay, body's gonna have knuckle dusters and a pack of cigarettes, so at this point, let's just go ahead and get uh, EMS out. Medical aid in, uh, Thankfully, we were able to get them stopped. I didn't know what they were doing at first. It looks like they both hopped out. Uh, no weapons or anything that I saw originally once I took down the female uh, into custody or at least attempted to. That's when the, you know, male subject became irate, pulled out a knife, started running towards us. Uh, at that point, once I saw the knife and it was a 2v1, I said, there's no, <laughs> there's nothing I'm going to do when it comes to really a lot of commands here. So we had to shoot him. Uh, once the female turned around and started coming at me when they were both in attack position, had to take her out too. Uh, which in one of the which in one of them she actually did on, one of the most go. craziest flips I've ever seen in this game before. No, not gonna lie, like that was insane. <laughs> that was really oh, insane, man, dude. Holy shit. We've got trespassing in Mirror Park. Looks like they got an animal invasion call going on. Uh, just located in Mirror Park, so in case they have a mountain lion or something like that. Oh, it's a wild deer. I don't think we'll need to shoot the deer uh, to death or anything like that. We'll probably just have to help shoo it out of the area. Pink 20 taking the uh, animal call in Mirror Park. We'll go ahead and head out that way, see exactly what's going on with uh, the animal and all that stuff. Almost just killed Becky and her husband. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, you guys aren't going to cross the road now. I don't blame you. It's going to be in the heart of Mirror Park, too. It's going to be at these houses, so the chances of us uh, being able to find them is probably going to stick out like a sore thumb because no dog's going to be that big. Hopefully it hasn't ran anyone over or uh, I guess a better terminology for that would be like uh, trampled anyone or anything. Oh, I see it. I think 20 got eyes on the deer. It's going to be westbound Mirror Drive. Try to make contact with the deer. <laughs> Imagine that radio call coming out. Oh, man. All right, we got eyes on the deer. It's probably going to try to run. Uh, it might actually try to attack. I think we might have had a deer call before. And uh, it turned a little violent. So we'll see. Let me go ahead and get my shotgun, obviously, equipped. Want to make sure people know uh, to stay out of the area in case shots are fired. I think the best thing to do here, I'm gonna turn around and go in on the opposite side. Really quick, let me just get my uh, shotgun equipped. Not an instant, no, I don't want a suppressor. I do wanna have a shotgun though, because that's gonna be the easiest way to take it down. We're gonna turn around and park up in the uh, neighbor's driveway right here. Pink 20, we're going to be making contact at the, uh, house. Hey, dear. Hey, dear. How you doing, guy? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You doing good? Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. King 20, we got shots fired in Mirror Park, but it was on the deer. One's down. So, I had to open fire with a subject behind the deer, which was probably not the best idea. Hopefully he's good. He ran off into the distance. I think I see him, though. The deer has been uh, taken out. 
I knew that it was, it might have been acting cool, but as soon as it does that thing where it looks like it's gonna go crazy, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and check, uh, the area back here, make sure there was no, oh, just as I suspected. Look at those. Those are from the shotgun. I don't know if we'd be able to see if any hit there, but you could definitely see one hit there. I think one, uh... We for sure have one right there. That's a chip of cement gone. That's for sure a chip of cement gone. I don't think any went as far as... The guy back here, which is... If that's the case, that's good. Because, uh, he was in a danger zone. Imagine standing there. He's, like, right here. He just feels, like, the blast of the shotgun. Like, that would be scary as hell. But we definitely shot the, uh, cement. We put most on, uh, the, the deer. But unfortunately, we had to, uh... What is that? Oh, oil. Okay, well, we're good here. Let's go ahead and call animal control for the deer. I'm gonna put the shotgun away. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to that, but I don't think deers are the most friendliest people. Alright, there we go. We got the shotgun away. Might have to get a little closer to get, uh... Animal control. Assistance needed in Mirror Park. I hear a car alarm going off like someone just stole a car. King 20, we're going to be clear of Mirror Park here. Okay, so thankfully, thankfully we were able to get uh, that secure and everyone can be safe and come home and not have to worry about getting trampled by a deer like I almost just got. Um, but that seems to be a reoccurring issue out here in areas that are more suburban uh, instead of rural where uh, animals are starting to really get into the neighborhoods, which again, is not good because when you get out of the car, you're not expecting to get trampled by a big-ass deer. So good thing we were able to help out there. That guy just blew a stop sign, so we're going to go ahead and light him up. Very simple violation, just a uh, stop sign. King 20, 10, 11, Mirror Park. Mirror Place, northbound. Yellow taxi, unknown occupied. All right, let's see what's going on with this guy. Obviously, he's doing a, a deed for people, but you still got to stop at stop signs. You have some dark window tin, dude. I'm going to have to stand on his left side because I can't see anything. How you doing, sir? Going to need your identification, please gonna be for the stop sign violation back there on the corner. Alright, Mr. Getty, just sit tight. We'll run him really quick, make sure there's no wants, warrants, anything like that. It is a stop sign violation, so he will be receiving a violation for that instead of just a warning. Valid, none, no. Valid, valid, no, valid, no. So he's, he's relatively clear when it comes to uh, his stuff. Let's just see. He doesn't even have any citations either. That's actually mine. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, uh, from what I can see, I don't think he has any citation history. Which is good. So that means he's not out there doing a whole bunch of dumb stuff. So we'll just give him a very, very simple uh, stop sign violation ticket for this. And try not to, you know, obviously screw his record up too much. All right, sir, we're gonna get you out of here today really quick with a uh, violation for the stop sign, all right? You still gotta slow down and stop for the stop signs because that is a uh, major thing. Gonna be not too much, just two points on your uh, license along with the fine. You have a very clean record, so I suggest that you stop at the uh, appropriate things that you have to stop at. The NBA. Very simple, not too much to ask for. All right, there's your copy and your license back. You have a good day. King 20, we're going to be clear. Mirror Park. Attention unit 1, King 24. Citizens report a DUI in East Vinewood. Now we've got a driver under the influence. We're going to be taking this as our last call of the night. It's going to be passing the racetrack right now. Casino and racetrack. So that's a go figure. Probably leaving the casino and racetrack if you ask me. Are you going to get out of my way or just... Nope. 
I wouldn't expect anything from these trucks. Most likely, it's going to be the guy just behind that. Uh, no, no. It's going to be that guy that just turned left. Okay, we got eyes on him. Dispatch, I got eyes on the uh, intoxicated driver. This will be York Street and Bridge. We're going to be attempting a 1011. Oh, shit. Ouch. Oh, God. Ow. What are you doing? He almost just... He did take out the van, actually. I was going to say he almost took out the van, but no. That was 110% him taking out the van. Okay, we almost just got took out by that Mustang. King 20, 10, 11, final stop, bridge, and interstate 1. We're going to be on the bridge, facing westbound. How you doing, sir? Stopped you today. F oh, ma'am. I apologize. Uh, stopped you today because I'm thinking that you might have had something to drink, and uh, you ran into the van back there. I'm sure you're hurting. Um, so if I could get you to hand me over your identification, please. That way we have no issues. All right, Jessica. And uh, do me a favor, just step out of the car for me, all right? Yeah, just stay right there. That's fine. That way we don't have any uh, worries. I'm just going to take you over to this side, okay? We have a heavy smell of alcohol, and we got slurred speech on the individual, so possibly intoxicated, uh, along with the reports that we've got originally. All right, ma'am. So real quick, uh, just do me a favor. We're going to do a little quick test, okay? To be a breathalyzer test, nothing too crazy. Just make sure you don't have too much alcohol in your system. Because I can smell it and you are uh, slurring your speech. Okay. Yep. That's that's a little too high. You're almost uh, twice the legal limit there. So let's go ahead and um, arrest the individual for driving while intoxicated. Do me a favor. Just turn around and place your hands behind your back. Attention. This is dispatch. We are code 20, 20, 1, no 10, 15. This will be Bridge Street and Interstate 1. Okay, we'll uh, pat down the female, make sure she has nothing on her before we call in a transport unit. Pink 20, if you could start me a uh, transport unit, please. It's going to be a flashlight, keys, cigar, and PCP. She doesn't look like the one that would be using or possessing PCP. We Very have weird. Stolen vehicle and uh, let's go ahead and get um, prisoner transport out. Assistance needed in uh, East Vinewood. So we're going to have a drug uh, possession charge okay, along much. with the intoxication of alcohol. Uh, so that might have been a contributing factor to what was going on here as well, too, is the fact that she had multiple drugs in her system, not just one. We're going to go ahead and get this guy to take the female out of here so we could give the car a quick search. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sucker. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the vehicle search. Make sure there's nothing else. Guns, weapons, drugs. We got urn of ashes, a briefcase full of amphetamine. Amphetamine, there it is. <laughs> Methamphetamine. Oh my goodness. Bottle of bleach, a baseball bat, and nothing of interest. So I'm not sure what's up with this chick. She's got a bag full of men, it seems like, and uh, she's having a bad day. We Real have bad a day. All right, dispatch. I'm gonna need a uh, tow truck to. Tow truck. Big 20 tow truck to last location. All right, forgot about that almost for a second. I was gonna say you already know my location. We are on our way. All right, well there we go. That is gonna be where we wrap this one up. I was gonna hit dispatch again, but then I realized I already called for the tow truck. So uh, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of LSPDFR. Jumping in here doing some LSPD in these super cool. I, a pack of LSPD cars. I really don't know what they're called. I don't even think they have a specific name. They're just kind of made up from T0Y. Uh, but they fit very well. So thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of LSPDFR. And we will see you next episode. Hey.